U.S. Vice President Joe Biden has arrived in Zagreb as a special guest of the Brdobriuni Summit, a gathering of leaders from the region organized by Croatia's President Kolinda Grabar-Kitarovic and Slovenia's President Borut Pahor. The summit is also being attended by European Council President Donald Tusk and Austria's President Heinz Fischer. Biden is the top U.S. official to visit Croatia since President Barack Obama took office. The leaders are meeting as Europe faces its greatest migration crisis since World War II, which is having a significant impact on countries along the Balkan migration route and in the wake of the Paris terrorist attacks. Prime Minister Zoran Milanovic met with Vice President Biden this morning. Ahead of the summit, the U.S. Vice President spoke with Slovenia's President Borut Pahor and European Council President Donald Tusk at the downtown hotel where guests of the summit are staying. No statements were given to the media following the meetings. The European Parliament and European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker addressed today the Paris terrorist attacks and the EU's response to them. The EC president warned of a need for better and more intense cooperation on the European level. He warned that if the spirit of Schengen was lost, Europe would lose more than just the Schengen Agreement. He also underscored the importance of distinguishing between refugees and terrorists. Ivo Sanader is expected to go free this afternoon. The Zagreb County Court has reversed a decision to remand to custody the former Prime Minister in connection to one of the corruption investigations being conducted against him. The move comes after the Constitutional Court reversed a Supreme Court ruling to extend Sanader's detention. He was ordered to remain in custody after the verdict in the so-called Fimi Media case was quashed. The case now goes to retrial. Dinamo Zagreb are out of the Champions League after losing to Arsenal last night in the final game of Group F, 3-0. In Tuesday night's other match, Bayern Munich thrashed rivals Olympiakos 4-0. In KHL hockey, Medvedchak beat Russian side Torpedo. Medvedchak is currently in sixth place in the Western Conference. In Europa Cup basketball, Tsibona lost to Dutch side, the Antwerp Giants, 82-69 on Tuesday. Jagodic Kurija and Krušlin led Tsibona with 16 points each. Despite the defeat, the Zagreb team advances to the next phase of the tournament. Their next game is against Hungarian side Sopron. This afternoon's forecast calls for predominantly cloudy skies. There is a chance of a few snow flurries in the mountains and light rain in Slavonia. On the coast, there will be some sunny spells in the north and on the central sections, but it will be cloudy in the far south with occasional rain. Northeasterly and northerly winds are expected along the shore, a northwesterly on the open seas. The day's highs will range from 0 to 5 degrees Celsius in the interior and from 8 to 14 degrees on the coast. The interior will see predominantly cloudy skies over the next three days. On Thursday and Saturday, there is a chance of light rain and snow, accompanied by a moderate to high northeasterly wind. On Saturday, there might be some sunny spells with a slight rise in temperature. On the coast, it will be variably cloudy with rain, mostly in the far south and in parts of Dalmatia. High winds are expected, especially along the foothills of Mount Velebit on Thursday afternoon and evening and Friday morning. On Saturday, it will be less windy and mostly sunny.